All right, hi guys. Uh, my name is Pedro Redlingais from Herenia Capital Advisors, and today I'm just going to show you uh, a little bit of a spreadsheet that um, you know we use uh, and have used in the past, and make some of our clients do. And uh, some of those guys who want to be, uh, you know, real deal, proper intraday traders. Um, this is a good way for them to build an understanding of the market and the companies that they're investing in and trading in. So this is something I think worth having a look at. So I'll just run through this very quickly, not. Uh, in too much detail. The idea is really for you to create your own spreadsheet that is similar to this, right? Uh, so you can see, for example, here we start with the top 40. We look at all the different top 40 stocks, look at the market capitalization of that stock, the share price, the share, this uh, sheet, this particular one is relatively old, so it was still trading at 2,133 Rand a share. Hmm, the good old days. Uh, number of shares in issue, average daily volume of, of uh, number of shares traded on any given day. Uh, earnings per share, dividend payout, uh, debt to equity ratio is relatively important. Uh, is it dual listed? Yes or no? If it is, where is it dual listed? So you'll see, for example, I'm just going to zoom in a bit here. Uh, MediClinic is dual listed uh, in FTSE uh, or on the FTSE in the European uh, or the, the, the UK exchange. Some of these other ones, uh, Anglo Gold Ashanti, for example, and ASX uh, or Richmond in Switzerland. Uh, you want to see what sector they're in. Regional exposure is also one that we spoke about a little bit. So Nasbash, for example, here you can see it's split Asia, South Africa, Europe, Africa, Latin America, other. Uh, I see we haven't included the currency mix here, but you want to sort of get a feel for what currency is being earned from what region uh, and how much revenue is being earned in which currency kind of thing. Uh, latest set of results, any competition or competitors or projects or uh, you know, um, any information that you can really go to them. Who are their customers? What projects are they busy with? What are they? Who are their competitors? And uh, as you can see, this was done on the, the entire top 40. So all top 40 companies in the index uh, are here. And then at a later stage, this was expanded to become the top 70, if you will. Uh, favorites, whoever made the spreadsheet, I'm not going to say who. This is their favorite uh, companies. It's was Steinoff, hey, 25. Next report 2017. Mm -mm -mm. When Steinoff still was a favorite. Uh, external factors. So what are the things that drive uh, some of these companies, right? So you can have a look at uh, Bulletin, for example, Anglo Bulletin, Anglo. So these are just some of the mineral companies or, or miners. You can see, okay, cool. Bulletin, some of the locations of the operations or the external factors that can drive them is the copper price, any sort of news in Chile kind of thing. So you can see which country they're earning uh, or they're they're getting what commodity from so a nice breakdown of of that type of stuff is really really very helpful so for example you know if there are uh you know huge fires in australia um around adelaide what is that going to do well bulletin has copper um you know production there who else has copper production uh that has in maybe in a different location that might be a beneficiary of bulletin shuts down that type of of stuff right um Rand hedge stocks, you can look at uh, uh, sort of a whole bunch of different uh, different things, right? And what's quite important is if you look at the sectoral PE, so banks, for example, uh, the sector PE is a 14. And if you look at other banks, um, you know, like Investec, what is the PE versus the sector? Is it undervalued? Is it overvalued compared to that, uh, uh, to its individual sector? So you can find sort of the winners in the individual sectors. This type of thing um, is relatively helpful. Uh, and also something that is worth updating all the time, right? So as companies' earnings come out, as uh, the ratio analysis, the ratios change, um, it's nice to update these things all the time so that it gives you a basis of where to start um, as, a, as a, you know, how do you navigate the world around you? So you start with the top 40, when you're done with all them, you expand that. There's not so many shares this on the JSC at the moment. You just keep building out that spreadsheet. And as, uh, you know, new information becomes available, you keep updating it, and it kind of becomes like your Bible. Right? You have a very nice one place where you can find all the information that you're looking for uh, and that helps you analyze uh, and keep track of the companies that you're analyzing. 